Alright, so this will be the third episode for the Scout Knife and what we've done so far is we finished our sanding and getting the good blade shape there so it worked out pretty good. There was a couple of things I had to work on. There's a, a couple of errors that you might be able to see in the light there um, but overall it's, it's a nice looking blade. I already started putting a little bit of an edge on it, so we'll just have to sharpen it in the final pieces. Well, what we'll be doing next is taking what they call scales. Um, so we put that on the side of the blade and then we shape it. So you might see it better on this side. So once we've fastened it on, you can see we'll just sand this around there and start making the blade. And then these pins that you see, these holes here, we'll put little brass. Um, pins through there and that'll hold the blade. There'll be two sides of the, of the wood here, one on this side and one on this side, and then we'll shape that um, and start getting that fitted. So that's what we'll be working on today. Stirring stick. I guess I can use that stirring stick. Got all the pieces here. Clamp ready to hold it. All these ready. pretty good job of not getting glue all over the blade which is a first for me um, so we'll leave this to dry now overnight or at least for the rest of the day here let that, that, that epoxy set um, and then from there obviously we take the clamps off and then we can start working through the, uh, the sanding and shaping of the handle so we'll leave that to dry See, we finished gluing the handles um, on the knife view. So I don't know if you can see it close up. Put lots of glue on there, and then those brass pins that we've been talking about have gone all the way through. 
So what we do next is we go back to the, the grinder and sander there and we just start shaping this blade. First we'll do the top and bottom so we've got the, the actual shape of that um, metal handle that we, that we shaped previously and then from there we'll start doing the, the, the sides here so we'll put some nice indentations so it gives a, a good grip on the hand. And then we'll do the front piece, we'll just have to be careful because we don't want to scratch that metal that we already worked on, or that steel. Um, so that's what we'll do now. So we'll uh, move over to the grinder and it'll go pretty quickly. Obviously it's wood so it'll sand off nice and easy and then we've done that. We'll go back to some hand sanding and just really try to refine that handle as best we can. Okay, so we have finished the handle. I might put another layer of oil on that just to smooth it out a little bit. But now we're gonna start doing the sharpening. So we take our sharpening stone and then we just slowly, at about a 20 degree angle, we just go back and forth until we get a nice sharp blade. So we'll start that now.
so we have finished sharpening the blade um, so it's nice and sharp so what we'll do now is we'll do some little tests just to make sure it is sharp enough so we'll do a paper cut and some other things that might be fun to watch and then from there um, I might do a little bit more work on the handle just to maybe pre-oil it just make sure it's nice and um, sealed and then from there we then make the uh, I usually make leather sheaths for these so we'll do that next but for today we'll just make sure this blade's nice and sharp and do some fun tests with it so let's go do the tests finished our sharpness test. I'm gonna say we passed. We had some good fun there. 
the balloons. Maybe not, maybe not a good test. We were able to test a point, but maybe the rubber's not good enough for that. But I think the uh, tomatoes and carrots, that was uh, passed once I was able to drop it on the blade. And then the water bottle. We didn't get a full slice, but we chopped a good piece of it up there. So I think this knife's ready to uh, be packed up. We'll make a leather sheath. And then that means that the scout is complete. Um, so we'll probably just maybe add some pictures at the end or maybe a quick montage if we've got time to do the leather sheath. Um, but really, just wanted to say thank you for everybody that watched this. Really want to say thank you for Noah that's holding the camera right now. So as we've talked about it before, NJ Trick Shots, and you can subscribe. We can put a link somewhere around here. Uh, look at, look at the, the videos that he's been doing uh, with his friends. They're, they're really good fun. Uh, but then this one here, so we had a good time and as I said, we, we made this video because we're all stuck in lockdown right now So it was a question of keeping us entertained um, and also maybe giving you some entertainment as well and I think We've really enjoyed making this video, so we might make some more um, Maybe we'll make a knife next time. We'll try and do something else um, and just keep keep having fun and um, learning and experimenting as we uh, make blades and what other blacksmithing things we can think of. So again, thank you, like and subscribe, and don't forget to uh, check out NGA Trick Shots as well. Thanks everyone, stay safe.